What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is Game Stock Car 2013 because Game Stock Car 2013 is officially released now. Therefore you should go buy it because it's pretty dang awesome. We'll be doing a 25 lap race here in the stock cars uh, at Velo Park because it's one of the most fun circuits in this game. Really fun. Really nice flow to it uh, for a fairly modern circuit I believe. At least it feels like a modern circuit. We are racing the AI here today. Uh, obviously there's always a little bit of questions with uh, online racing. There is... Uh, you guys stopping right in the middle of the track. There is some people uh, racing online. Uh, unfortunately, they were in a practice session when I started this race, and it was just like, eh, I wanna, I wanna get a race and not practice. So that's why we're racing offline because really, it doesn't matter that much. But as you can imagine, this is gonna be a uh, league-oriented or offline sim. But that's pretty much the case with uh, every sim. Doesn't mean it's less fun or anything. Unlike uh, pretty much anything else on this engine, the AI is actually fairly good. I mean, yeah, they do have their moments of, of stupidity and everything, but at the same time, they uh, they work. Could be much worse, I'll tell you that. But seeing how Game Stock Car 2013 is officially released, I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, as to where you can find it, because I guess Google is too confusing sometimes. Uh, as well as, um, that means that you can try it out now for yourself and make your own judgments. Uh, it comes with a 60 minute free, time limited, full featured trial. So you don't need to just listen to me say it's good, you can go ahead and uh, experience the goodness for yourself. Now, unfortunately, though, there is the uh, timing aspect. Wow, that guy went in really deep there. Focus on the road, not on the mirror. Obviously, the timing aspect with the subtle course just uh, coming out two weeks ago. <laughs> you know, really unfortunate timing. But, um, you know, I'll put it this way. It's a tricky question because I know a lot of you guys out there you know, like to stick with just one sim, or you just want to know what's the best, or you just want one just to kind of get your feet wet uh, in the genre, you know. Maybe you're not a super serious sim racer who will play pretty much anything and everything, so long as it's fun. But, uh, you know, a Subtle Corsa, you know, yeah, it has great physics, it looks great, it looks amazing, and all that stuff. But there's no racing right now. That's something that will obviously come at some time, but, you know, right now, there's... there isn't. Ah! Whereas with Game Stock Car here, you know, you can join a league, and there are leagues available in Game Stock Car. Uh, head on over to the race department forums. I'll chuck another link in the description for that, but... You know, you can race online. You have AI to race with. There's a variety of add-on content mods uh, that are out there. You know, personally, I like to try and keep it with the stock content because I feel like it's the best. Yeah, that's just my thought process on that. But you know, there are tons of tracks out there. You know, pretty much anything from R Factor that is good has probably been converted. Uh, so you know, really. There's just a ton of content available out there as opposed to, you know, some of the newer sims. Subtle Corsa, R Factor 2, you know, which they offer more advanced physics engines. They offer better graphics. Not to say Game Stock Car 2013 looks bad. But, you know, they are the step forward. You know, I think everybody knows that. Everybody realizes that. But this is kind of like the last of the breed, if you will. You know, if you have a 
system, which isn't really all that strong, you know, isn't... Ah! Isn't, you know, capable of running, you know, something like a set of course or R Factor 2, you know, at decent frame rates, decent playability. You know, Game Stock Car 2013, honestly, probably one well worth checking out for you. Because it's just as fun. The physics are, you know, really, really close. I mean, obviously, the engine isn't as advanced, and you can kind of feel that, but, you know, they both drive very similarly. Both of them are fun to drive in, for sure. So there is still a reason for Game Stock Car 2013. Don't just think just because there's something newer that this is somehow instantly irrelevant because it's not. But again, with a time limited demo, that's for you uh, to decide. Because you don't need to just instantly buy it to try it anymore. I've noticed that compared to uh, the release candidates, they did a patch with the uh, update to release this game fully. It seems like the cars are a little bit more lively. They're a little bit more uh, less stable. I'm not sure if they changed the setup or something with uh, some of the physics or anything like that. But I mean, they're still very good. I actually think I prefer it this way, but. It makes it more fun to drive. <laughs> Let's grip more fun, right? Let's grip more fun, right? Whoa! I have driven the tires off of this thing or something. Actually, that was probably just overheating the tires with that giant slide in that uh, high speed left. Easy does it. Really though, the thing with Game Stock Car is the quality of content and the variety of content. In my opinion, this is the best, you know, out of the box variety package in sim racing. You know, from the stock cars here to you know, the Formula 3 to the retro F1, the 1976 F1 cars to the Formula Riza, the modern F1 car. You know, the Camaro stock car, as in stock showroom car, you know, street car. To minis, to you know, classic Opala stock cars, you know. Just a ton of content, pretty much something for everyone. Which really, right now, a lot of those other sims out there that yeah you know down the road they will be better you know they don't offer that right now because they're just not developed I mean don't be scared away by the fact that you know a lot of your racing will probably be either of the pickup variety. Yeah, I will say that you know the races I've done online here in Game Stock Car have gone much better than what you probably typically associate with online racing, uh, open server, you know, variety of course. But and it seems like by and large, 
know, the community's a little bit more, uh, more professional, I guess I should say. Lack of a better term, not as in they're all pros, but yeah, you, you don't see that stuff that you commonly associate with open server online racing as much. I mean, not to say it doesn't happen. I mean, it happens everywhere. It even happens in iRacing, right? So that's a plus, but, you know, like I said, you know, even racing with the AI, I mean, really, who cares? Once the field gets spread out, like we have here, it's like I'm not trying any harder, I'm not trying any less. I don't want to pass this guy any less because he doesn't exist. Careful with that curb. I mean, heck, I'm running in 15th position. Okay. I'm trying here. Be careful with that curbing and those tires. I gotta say, honestly, game stock car, 2013 stock cars, gotta be one of the most immersive driving experiences in sim racing. Now the cockpits look fantastic. You know, the seating position just feels right. It's like, you know, this is a purpose-built race car. You know, this is where I should be sitting. I'm not with my chin on the uh, steering wheel or anything like that. And yeah, that probably would just rip the suspension off the car, not gonna lie. You know, I'm not sitting in the stratosphere where I can see the truck or see the ground like I'm driving a big rig truck or anything like that, which you sometimes see in Sims and and various mods, which is a turn off. The cockpit is where you're going to do your racing from, so it's very important that it looks immersive, right? Unfortunately, Reza Studios definitely seems to understand that. him off that long and then he passed me because of a stupid mistake that I made myself. It's 
see if we can get a little bit of a slipstream going on here. No, you don't. Stop overdriving that first part of the chicane because that's just screwing up the whole thing. Now, honestly, going back to something I said a little bit earlier, if you want to know how to be a little bit more confident, race the AI. Now, honestly, it, it might sound crazy, you know, obviously racing a human, you know, it's got to be different, right? But really, it doesn't change anything because you're kind of building that uh, confidence and having a guy running right underneath your wing, you know. Especially with AI, usually they're stupider than people are. That's pretty impressive because there's some pretty stupid people that you'll run into online. <laughs> Looks like we only got about five, six laps left here. Ah! Killing myself here. Another cool thing that I really like is the fact that you can see your car from the mirrors. Just like you should. I mean, I, I know you can add it into other ones, but, or other sims. Uh, I know iRacing shows it by default. I'm not sure if the race series does, but I know GTR2 doesn't. That is so nice. <laughs> Again, one of those small little immersion features that does make a difference. That's so very often, even even when other sims try it, other sims on this engine, usually it ends up backfiring, as you can see, stupid parts of your car that you'd never be able to see because it doesn't work right because the the model wasn't constructed properly to take advantage of that or whatever. It's hard to believe, though, how good this engine is physically, even though it's more or less ancient. I mean, the newer engines definitely feel like they're a little bit more dynamic in a word, but, you know, I ain't gonna stop me from having fun here.
Just can't wait to see what these guys will be able to do with the next step. You know, what will their next sim be? What will that uh, entail? So, man, what they're able to wring out of this engine is just flabbergastingly good. You know, it really is the ultimate R factor, I guess you could say. I mean, some people will always say, oh, well, why should I have to pay for an R factor mod? You know, that's that's all a game stock car is. Which, I'll say, you know what? You're not just paying for R factor, you're paying for a complete package. Which is something that R factor never really was uh, out of the box. Be honest, these tracks here in GameStock are, are the best that you know this engine has seen. You know, and that's it's not knocking guys like you know the old Simbin or you know Virtual LM. You know, obviously, you know they're the gold standard of the mod tracks. You know, in our factor, but these to me are honestly a step ahead. And for me, that's that's worth it. I mean. You know, I'm not a fan of Brazilian stock car racing. I know nothing about them other than there's a couple of drivers that I've heard of, you know, throughout the years that race these things. You know, I'm not a fan, but they're fun. <laughs> they're fun to drive. And you know, the tracks are fun. They're well done. And, you know, to me, that's, that's what's important. Easy does it. Things definitely are a bit more difficult to drive than what I remember them. That is for sure. But I like it. It's difficult in the right ways. Oh god, that's gonna snap. Woo! <laughs> Finally bit me. And actually, it seems like they've increased the grip loss with uh, overheating your tires. I'm pretty certain that is what, uh, what the change is. Which is a nice thing because that's, that's how it should be. Geronimo! Well, I lost some spots there on the last lap, but... Hey, we figured out something that changed. Or at least I think it's changed. I did take a look at that change log because honestly, I didn't take a look at the change log. I just said, yes, it's finally out. Now I can make a video and not have people constantly ask me, how do I buy this game? I just see pre-order. How are you playing this? So yeah, Game Stock Car 2013, it's out. It's released. Comes with a 60-minute full-featured trial. You don't need to buy anything. If you want to try it out, give it a give it a look. Just do it. Trust me. Just check it out. Give it a look. Try it. Give it a full 60 minutes. See what you think. I would strongly suggest uh, Formula 3 at Interlagos or Taruma, as well as Stock Cars probably here at Velo Park because it's a fun combination, okay? Spend your 60 minutes wisely, and then you'll probably end up with the full game because it's just that good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are enjoying GameStock Car 2013. All right, bye.